going to be the first time that any starfish or sea star, if you want to call it, um, has been listed under the Endangered Species Act. NOAA officials say listing sunflower sea stars as threatened under the Endangered Species Act will impact federal actions. Decisions on shoreline protections and funding for research could follow. In the last decade, what used to be one of the most common species in the world has almost been wiped out. NOAA officials estimate billions, more than 90% of sunflower sea stars were killed by contracting sea star wasting syndrome. The disease causes sea stars to develop lesions, lose their arms, and within days disintegrate into gooey masses. Because of this growing concern, for the past four years, Jason Hoden and his team with the University of Washington have been in Friday Harbor breeding sunflower sea stars in hopes of returning this species back into the wild. Learning how they grow, what they need to eat, what kind of conditions to grow them, and how one would do this. Hoden says research done by Washington's Fish and Wildlife Department estimates more than 95% of sunflower sea stars have been killed in the state due to the disease. He says there's still a long way to go and hopes listing the species as threatened will bring the necessary changes to keep the species alive. The sunflower star is telling us that we need to take better care of our oceanic ecosystem. We can't necessarily do anything about a disease popping up, but we can do something about, you know, things like pollution in our environment, other stresses to the ocean. NOAA officials are asking for public comment before finalizing the proposal in the coming months. Reporting for King 5 News, I'm Brady Wakayama.